The Reds have went out and signed a Japanese outfitter, Shogo Kiyama. I believe that's probably not how you say his name. But either way, three years, 21 million, 7 million a year. Again, a Japanese center fielder. Played in the same Japanese league as Ichiro, just to throw it out there. But over the last five seasons, the guy's batted 359, 296, 322, 323. And 303, he's been a very solid hitter over there. And, you know, he's drawn about 70 walks per year. Again, a guy, you know, again, solid. Getting on base a lot. He's hitting the ball a lot. You love seeing that out of a guy. And even thrown on, you know, 20 plus home runs in each of the last three seasons. You consider those 20 plus home runs, plus another 20 games in the big leagues. Hopefully, if he stays healthy, you consider playing those nice, lovely juice baseballs in the MLB. You consider playing a GABP. This guy might hit 30 dingers for the Reds this season. He also appears to be an above average fielder out there as well so i'm a big fan of this signing a good hitter good fielder what more can you ask for out of a guy not to mention he's probably a lot cheaper than these other free agents would have got because again you're taking that guy from japan as opposed to taking the guy that's already proven himself in the mlb but i'm more than happy with taking a guy from japan you know we've seen guys come from japan and prove themselves before i think this is a guy that can do that as well and again if not i feel like the reds have plenty of depth in that outfield it's you know something were to happen we do have other guys where it's not like it's a big hit or miss type of deal here but that brings up the next big question what do the reds do with this outfield it does look a little bit crowded now you know aquino is gonna play you know senzel is gonna play so that again as always brings jesse winger's name up i've always loved the guy three years in a league still yet to play 160 games in a season i'd like to see him get that chance but in the three years he's played he's batting 285 a 285 hitter he's looked very solid i feel like he's got a lot of potential still and i think that is the key here not for you know just us as reds fans of keeping him on a team but as far as acquiring a shortstop i think you know if there was somehow a guy like francisco lindor to come to this team he is on a one-year contract with the indians right now so it's still possible i guess but if a guy like that were to come it would take somebody like you know jesse winker who's at to an extent proven himself and to an extent still has a lot of potential or teams like yeah i'd love to take a chance on this guy but it scares me for that same reason watching a guy like winker go out the door i don't know how many players i'd be willing to accept a trade in where we would be giving up jesse winker right now but regardless it's better to have too many bats in the outfield than not enough so it'll be interesting to see how these next couple months spring training regular season starts here for the reds love the signing though